Police used tear gas and stun grenades to break up a march by students and trade unions in the capital, Quito. The protesters want the government to reduce the cost of fuel and to reverse the privatization of public services. Our Latin America editor, Lucia Newman, reports. This is the beginning of a national strike that could paralyze Ecuador. La mobilization is de carácter nacional. The mobilization is national, it's regional, and the mobilization is indefinite. If the president gives us answers today, then we will stop. If the president does not give answers to any of our demands, then we will continue indefinitely. Demonstrations led by Ecuador's powerful indigenous confederation almost three years ago nearly overthrew then-president Lenin Moreno, forcing him to backtrack on plans to raise fuel prices. Today, their demands are far greater. Not only do these protesters want fuel prices lowered and frozen, but they also want the same for essential goods and services. We are literally starving to death. There is no work. Farm products are minimized. There is no proper support from the government. With the rise in fuel prices, everything is more expensive. The government doesn't hear us. Does it hear the poor farmers? No, it doesn't. Does it know the price of fertilizers? No. And our products are already cheap. How are we going to survive to feed our children? Roads are being blocked in at least 10 of Ecuador's 24 provinces. Conservative President Guillermo Lasso says he will not tolerate further disruptions. Just now, as we are beginning to get back on our feet from the pandemic, we cannot allow political groups who want to destabilize Ecuador and profit from the chaos paralyze our country. The government is already struggling to control rampant violence and drug trafficking amid a severe economic crisis. But unless there's a breakthrough, the strike by the well-organized indigenous confederation, with the support of other trade unions, could present the most serious challenge to Ecuador's stability. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera.